something good i'm your host jason and welcome to my full fort wall tutorial in it i'll be showing you how to use this wonderful platform that allows us to sell anything online fort wall is a platform that will allow its users to sell merchandise so you can do print on demand where you simply upload your design and you can choose the product that you would like to add your design to you can also sell membership just like what you would do with Patreon and Koji and other platforms. You can also sell your own physical products or digital products. There are so much things you can do with the Fort Wall platform. And I will be showing you step by step how you can use these different features. But before diving in, you may be wondering what is the cost to do all of this? Well, it is completely free to use. As you can see right there, they charge zero dollars per month so you don't need a credit card or anything like that to sign up with fort wall compared to other platforms like gumroad or so on that would charge a 10 percent fee with fort wall all you'll be paying is three percent on digital products as you can see right there and zero percent on physical products and like what i stated earlier you'll be able to sell any digital product any one of your physical products so you can also sell merch on youtube and instagram quite quickly you can also create membership as you can see right here and with membership you'll be able to offer different tiers just like what you'll be able to do on patreon but with this platform you'll be able to do it and they'll be only taking a five percent cut when it comes on to membership so if you don't make any money they don't make any money and also with this platform, you're offered more customization features compared to the other platforms that I've mentioned earlier. Now, how will you get started? Well, once on Fort Wall, you're going to tap on Start Now. After you have tapped on Start Now, you'll be redirected to this page. On this page, you can choose to either sign up using your Google account, YouTube account, Twitch account, or just your email. For this example, I'll be using my Google account. So you'll select with Google, then you're going to tap on continue. After tapping on continue, you'll be redirected to this page. And from here, you can enter your nickname. Then you'll see the option where does their audience find you. And you can simply tap on YouTube, Instagram, X, Twitch, TikTok, or you could select other and you could paste in your website URL. Let's say, for example, I were to select YouTube and I'm going to be using this YouTube channel. By the way, to find your channel URL, you'll simply tap on your profile pic in the top right hand corner. Then you will see the option view your channel. After you have done that, all you'll need to do now is simply copy the URL. Then go back into Fort Wall and you're going to paste the URL right here. Once you have added your URL, you'll be redirected to this page, and this is your admin dashboard. Once on the admin dashboard, you'll now be able to add your first product. All you'll need to do, you can either tap on create your first product right here, or you could go over to the left hand menu option and tap on products. So to create a product, you'll simply tap on create product, and you have three options. You can either choose to design a product, you can choose to sell something you have, for example, a physical product, or you could choose to sell a digital product. If we were to tap on design something, you'll be redirected to this page. On this page, you'll be able to choose the item that you'd like to upload your design on. So we can tap on all products and you can see the different categories from the left hand menu option. So you have apparel, accessories, drinkware, home and living, consumables, and so much more. So for example, let's say we were to select accessories. After selecting accessories, you can see the different categories once more over here. So you can also add your design on jewelry as you can see right there. But let's say for example, we wanted to add our design on deck mats. You can select the deck mat that you would like to add your design on. Or if it is a case that you like to add it on a hat, you could do that. You can also design stickers as you can see right there. There are numerous options that you can choose from. So once you have selected an item, 
you'll simply tap on design now after tapping on design now you'll be redirected to a new page on this new page you'll be able to upload your design by going over to the top left hand corner and tapping on upload image a good platform to create designs on is canva with canva you'll be able to create designs for completely free so for example let's say i would like to create a design for that hat all i would need to do is simply type in logos and from there for example i could select gaming logos after you have done that you'll be redirected to this page and you'll see numerous templates that you can choose from and let's say i would like to use this template i will tap on it then tap on customize this template from here i could make changes i could change the image could change the text or so on once you're finished, you're going to tap on share in the top right hand corner, then tap on download, then you'll tap on download once more. Once your design has been downloaded, you're going to go back into fourth wall, then tap on upload image, and from there you're going to select your design, then tap on open. Once you have done that, you can see it has been added right there. Now you're going to tap on next. And you can see that it is uploading once it has been uploaded all you need to do now you could add in your product name you can also add in a description if you want you can choose the price that you would like to sell it for and you can see the amount of money that you will make per sale once everything is there liking you're going to tap on publish now in the top right hand corner once it has been published as you can see right here you can see how your store looks at the moment and you could copy the url and share it if you want i will be showing you how to customize your store later on in the tutorial now we are going to tap on go to dashboard once on the dashboard you can go over to the left hand menu option once more and you could set up membership so we could tap on membership right here then from there you could tap on set up membership after tapping on setup membership you'll be redirected to this dashboard on this dashboard you can create different tiers so for example you can set up different price range that you like to charge persons so you could set up tier one so let me do that real quick then i'll let's say i'll charge persons ten dollars for this tier after doing that you could upload a tier image then i'll tap on add tier then I'm going to add tier 2. So let's say for example, tier 2, just for example sake. And let's say for example, for tier 2, I'll be charging persons $15. Then I'll tap on add tier. And you can continue adding different tiers. You can also choose to add perks if you want. So you could tap on add perk. And from there, you could add a perk. You can also edit it by tapping on settings. You could tap on edit tier from there if you want. And if you would like to do posts and so on, you could tap on posts from the left hand menu option. Then tap on create new posts. From here, you can see how the layout looks. So you could type in the post that you would like to share. You can also create polls. You can upload videos and so on. After you have done that, you can select a tier. That you would like to upload it on so you can select either tier 1 tier 2 or if you like to share it with all members you can also share messages so you could tap on messages and you'll be able to view your messages you can also tap here on the plus and you can upload new messages you can also share videos so you could tap on video series and you can create video series you can create perks and tiers as i said earlier now that I've shown you how to do that, if it is a case that you like to sell physical products, you could tap on products, then tap on create new product, then from there you could tap on sell something I have, and you'll simply add in the product name, then scroll down, and you can add in the price that you like to sell it for, and remember that I told you that when it comes onto physical product, they don't collect any commission with it. So you'll get all of the money that you're selling your products for. You can also set up the weight right here. After you have done that, you can simply scroll down and upload an image and so on. Now, after doing that, you'll simply tap where you see hidden and you're going to tap on public. 
and it would now be live. If it is a case that you would like to sell a digital product, you could tap on sell digital product, add in the product name, then from here you are going to upload the file that persons will be receiving and you can set the price that you would like to sell it for. So that's how you'll be able to use Fort Wall to sell any one of these items. So whether you like to sell a digital product, a physical product, or you would like to do some print on demand, you can do that quite quickly. Now to edit your website, you'll tap on site design from the left hand menu option. I've tapped on site design. From here, you can see the different themes that you can use. So you can scroll down and you can select any one of these themes. Let's say for example, I will use this one. So all I will need to do is tap on start with this theme and you can see how it looks right here. Now to edit it, you could tap on edit image, then go over to the left hand menu option. And from here, you could upload an image if you want. So you can tap on the X right there. Then from there, you could upload an image. So you can see right here, drag and place your image. So I could select any one of these images. Let's say for example, I'll select a random thumbnail and tap on open. After you have done that, you can see how it looks right there. Once you are finished and it is to your liking, you can go back. You can also edit the header section by simply tapping on header. From there, you can edit the header section. So you could tap on edit menu and you can edit the menu. You could also add in a page or link if you want. So if you like to create a new page, you can do that. And if it is a case that you like to add your social links, you could tap on social links and you could add your Facebook or Instagram link. You can also edit the pages and navigation by tapping there. And by the way, you can also change the font style and font size by tapping on typography. And if you like to change the colors and appearance, you can do that right there. So there are numerous editing options that you can get access to. And if we were to tap on home page, you could select membership feed. And from there, you'll be able to edit the membership feed also. You can also edit the checkout page by tapping on checkout. You can see how it looks at the moment. And you can see different editing options from the left hand menu option right here. And you can also see that you can disable or enable the donation option. So if you like to collect donation, you can do that. And you can edit all of the other pages as you can see right there. And that's it. Once you're finished, you'll tap right where you see coming soon in the top right hand corner and you'll simply change it to live. Then you'll tap on save and your website will now be active. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.